Vampo describes an accuracy of plus or minus 2%. This provides four measurement modes, so kilograms, centimeters, newton meters, inch pounds, and foot pounds. This can be used for electronic devices, different machinery equipment, different computer equipment, and precision instruments. In my case, I will definitely be using it for my firearms. This Torx screwdriver provides six groups of preset modes, and the common torque values can be set in advance. This does have a peak mode, which would automatically record the torque value set after each mode and record the peak value. This does adapt to S2 style bits. It comes with 10 different sizes. When you use the torque wrench to approach the appropriate torque, you can see there will be red and green lights of LEDs that flash, and there will be an audible sound to allow you to understand when you're hitting the maximum values. As you see here, this does go from 2.66 inch pounds all the way to 53.1 inch pounds, or in other words, 0.326 Newton meters and everything in between. It has a nice LED indicator, the buttons are very easy to use, and for the most part, the programming on this is pretty simple once you get used to it. But here you can see as I get into some practical use, I did want to get my scope torqued down onto the scope rings. So here's one of the things that's definitely going to be a little bit of an experiment. I could not find the appropriate torque values that I needed for this, so it was just a matter of experiment. So I thought the first thing I would do is just kind of get a feel for it as I was loosening this up, try to figure out the exact bit sizes that I needed, and just do a little bit of homework ahead of time. And here you can see as I try to torque this up, just going at the lowest possible setting just to get a feel for it, but at this time, moving it up to five inch pounds. That is definitely a very low torque value overall and something that I knew I could just start to get a feel for this. Like I mentioned, I did not have any information from the manufacturer. I've never in practical use really been torquing up specifically on my rings without doing it finger tight. And at this point, just trying to get a sense for it. But the five inch pounds, definitely making some noise. You can audibly hear it. And that's going to be an indicator of where I stand. Now, it definitely did not feel tight enough. So I figured, well, let's go up to 10. So 10 also not a very high value. Most of the things that I've torqued up on my firearms, much, much higher than that. But I figured 10 would be a good way to go. And so here again, torquing up, you can hear the audible noise. And this is definitely moving to the point where torquing up on this, it definitely feels about right. This does feel like what I typically get out of a typical screwdriver. So I knew it was going to be about right. And I figured this would be a pretty good place to go. Marks.